The skin detection, uh, with an understanding of the different thresholding types, we can apply the use case of detecting and segmenting the skin tones from an image. Uh, this will also cover the use of composite filtering to improve the results if no single threshold will work on its own. Taking a look at this uh, just uh, uh, faces.jpg file, uh, that is uh, we have uh, with us here and uh, 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 we can see there are the variety of skin tones account for it let me open it for you uh, just So if you see here, this is the uh, faces JPEG and it has the multiple shapes and the faces. And uh, uh, we find there is a no single threshold or adapted threshold would do the job on its own. Therefore, we need to combine multiples together. So now um, let's dive into the code and uh, start the writing for code. So here we go, uh, HSV, uh, basically uh, what is that uh, here, uh, we already have loaded the face JPEG image here and then with full color and uh, here we want to split it into the HSV file format to do that uh, we need to do this and uh, cv2 dot cvt color function uh, we will call pass through the uh, image and uh, uh, then uh, we need to call cv2 dot color underscore bgr to hsv that is bgr to hsv built-in function here and then uh, we need to segregate the h value is equal to hsv and then colon uh, comma colon and then zero so here uh, basically uh, what we are doing uh, the splitting the channel individually using this HSV to use all pixels for hue channel and then uh, we just uh, saturated them H value and S value here would be one and uh, be true and here v so let's actually display these channels side by side we are going to do this using the hsv split uh, using the hsv split hsv split is equal to np dot con catenate uh, these and side in at h s v sorry here h s v and uh, pass through the axis is equal to one to indicate we want to concatenate horizontally now let's do and uh, uh, call the cv2 dot m show here and pass the uh, split hsv here hsv split to at so now um, uh, let's uh, run our this code here python3 
zero four dot pi it's showing cv2 t color empty function here uh, just uh, cvt color same thing i think uh, so let's see here maybe Okay, so here there was a, some error inside in it. Uh, so if you see here, huh, this is the split HSV for concatenate the image and split HSV for this and uh, the hue values may look like a little bit strange but recall the hue is a circular parameter red is indicating by the low numbers such as zero or very high numbers such as the 255 another color such as the blue and green uh, uh, are in middle uh, representing the more gray values based on looking at this breakdown i can see that doing a combination of filtering between the hue as well as the saturation channel will give us the best result so now uh, just i am pressing the escape and moving here and uh, if you see here uh, uh, next uh, what we can do uh, just uh, uh, let's uh, do a quick filter on uh, saturation channel to do this to do that we will type the return and then uh, uh, just uh, here we go here the return value and minimum uh, saturation is equal to cv2 dot uh, thresholds uh, the built-in function we are passing the s value in it and uh, 40 and 255 uh, then we will use the cv2 dot uh, thresh binary and uh, cv2 dot m show and we need to pause here the uh, saturation uh, filter yeah like that and here the uh, min set and uh, also um, also we can do another uh, filter on the hue threshold using the max hue value as well uh, for that uh, just we need to read the max hue and here cv2 dot threshold will pass the h and here we are passing the 15 to 55 uh, and then uh, comma cv2 dot uh, a thresh binary underscore uh, INV. This is indicates that we are going to do the inverse of the normal order of threshold. In this case, this will make value 0 to 15 white and everything else black as opposed to the other way around. And uh, let's show uh, the results here cv2.m show. And uh, here are the hue filter and max a hue value we pass through it now what we need to do uh, uh, let's combine these filters and by using the final uh, is equal to cv2 dot uh, bitwise and underscore and uh, 
basically uh, this is the built-in function and here uh, we need to pass through the uh, min set and the max uh, max hue value here and then cv2 dot m show um, final and here cv2 dot m show we can say like that here the original mg so uh, that's it now uh, press the so here we execute the code and uh, see it so now uh, if we see uh, moving the original image to here the right corner if you see here this one is the original I just put it over here inside it here in the bottom side and uh, we can see the final image this one is the final image and uh, you can see it works although it's not perfect but it has a good presentation of all scan detected in all these images breaking it down further we can take a look at uh, just uh, the hue one if you see here this one is the hue uh, uh, the the final image and the we can see the hue filter is essentially multiplied against saturated saturated filter here this is the saturated filter with us if you see here so um, a good example to show where this is the most effective is if we take a look at the right most and then down a row the individual here so you can notice how is the saturation filter the right black there work and then final filter actually has disappeared isolation it much uh, uh, more closely to the face himself so 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 as far as uh, means like on a closing note it is important to acknowledge that this is not necessary the most robust method to detect faces more advanced technique would use machine learning or would use a light invariant methods in this case we are using simple hard coded value thresholds that may not work in all environments to get your own results or with better results or image you may have the uh, tweak these parameters and work with on it thank you i'll be back with next move